welcome everyone welcome to my facebook page my channel right here and this is going to be <clears throat> the full moon into Pisces happening at 26 now four days from now so um this is going to be again a five card tarot spread uh pretty much you know it's the same song on a new voice back again now we will have three cards representing the material aspect of the lunar cycle and one and a couple of cards excuse me which are going to represent the ethereal aspect so <clears throat> that being said now while i'm shuffling again i would like to take a couple of moments guys to um thank you ever so much for the support that you are giving me giving me uh Recently again on my uh, Facebook page, on my YouTube channel, you're amazing, keep it going. So, yeah, one second. Yeah, I don't know, should I incorporate, uh, you know, the Lenormand cards as well? I'm not exactly sure about that. I don't even know where they are, oh, they are behind me. Because... You know, they, that, that's the thing with the Lenormand cards, you know, they are very personal. Uh, what I mean is that they, they are never meant to be used for uh, general readings, for the signs, and etc, etc. Uh, at least according to what I read and according to my beliefs, you know, in the way that you can read the cards. Mm, but... I will not incorporate them in this particular live stream, but probably in future lives, if there is, uh, you know, a quite of demand of the auditory, then I will probably consider incorporating them there. Well, Pauline, I, I don't know what to say. Usually, I, li I like cats as well, you know. I prefer them over dogs by a, by, a, by a million miles, you know. By a large margin, I prefer them over dogs. Anyway, so, hello, Amy. How are you doing? So, going first into Aries, uh, now the first card which represents Aries' topic here, this is going to be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the challenges Aries has to overcome for the duration of the lunar cycle here, this is going to be the Nine of Cups, and the last one uh, of the material aspect for Aries, this is going to be the Wheel of Fortune, then this, the fourth card here for Aries represents the lesson that they need to learn, we do have the Two of Cups, and the last one here is going to be the energy supporting areas for the duration of this lunar cycle. This is going to be the High Priestess card. <clears throat> so what we do have for Aries is rather not that big of an as of a, a cycle for them. This, um, according at least to tarot cards, this um, full moon into Pisces. The Two of Pentacles here as a topic, or what is going on, uh, what is going to happen with Aries is that they will um, be involved into multiple undertakings in a sense of that they will not be able to choose not that there will be a right choice to take here in which one to invest more now it is very important to be acknowledged about the areas is, is that um, there will be as well a minor changes happening here and there you know uh, probably uh, for example for whatever you have planned uh, regarding a certain undertaking here may not exactly happen the way you have planned but it's not going to be necessarily a bad thing you know it's going to be all it's going to open you as well a new a new ways to um, to tackle with uh, with the predicaments, to tackle with the situation itself, and uh, therefore the Two of Pentacles is a very positive card for people who are searching to improve. But it also they have to be willing to work for it. Now sitting down on your butt is not going to cut it out. It's not going to help you. As a matter of fact, for the lazy Aries, this lunar cycle ain't going to be very positive because we do have the Wheel of Fortune uh, here as an intentional wise, and this. Uh, need, uh, and, and that particular card regarding intentions, it should be that you need to kind of outburst with activity for the duration of this lunar cycle, especially incorporated with the Two of Pentacles, guys. You have to be ready to take on every single 
difference that happens around you, every single, you know, versatility that appears here and there in your plans. Nine of wands, nine of uh, cups, excuse me, into the negative position here or the challenges that you have to overcome uh, <clears throat> does represent the... Uh, the poignant standpoint of a sense of that you may not have much time for yourself and you may not have much time, you know, to um, act upon those uh, upon those minor changes that I talked about. But in the same time, it's going to give you just enough time so you can retaliate in case something is going downhill. Two of Cups as a lesson that you need to learn speaks that you have to as well um, be more prone to teamwork because the two of wands is about uh, two of cups excuse me it's about sharing it's about sharing good fortune it's about sharing bad fortune it is a about um <clears throat> in general reaching a accumulative experience with other people and that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to chase your goal with other people it does mean that when you feel good it is um it should be a mandatory for you to make other people feel good around you as well. And finally, we do have the High Priestess here as the energies which are going to support you. Now, you may feel stuck somewhere um, uh, in the duration or in the, uh, in the halfway for the duration of the lunar cycle. You may feel that you don't know what to do. Well, don't you worry because these energies are pointing that the right answer always will come to you one way or another the best way is to listen to yourself and to listen what your let's say what your being needs all right so that was for Aries's. now uh going to next one this is going to be taurus by the way guys if you hear a clattering sound that is my air conditioning and uh, for those who kind of know about the air conditioners and uh how they are installed and so on and so on because I'm living on the ground floor I can't afford for the safety reasons the outer body of the air conditioning to be on the ground floor or to be on the um, on the earth placed on the earth directly uh, therefore it has to be above the inner body now that's the cluttering sound I was talking about so therefore has to be installed above the uh, inner body of the air conditioning and that demands an additional gadget in the in the inner body which is the hydraulic pump and when the hydraulic pump pushes the water from the air conditioning you can hear that cluttering sound and I do apologize about that but if I turn it off it's, I will start sweating quite, pretty fast here and quite a lot because it's quite humid and it is well, you know, very hot where I am right now. All right, so um, going to Taurus is now, guys, the first card representing the topic for your lunar cycle here. This is going to be the Seven of Swords, followed by the uh, challenges to be tackled. That will be the Ten of Cups. Then we do have the Ace of Pentacles as an intentions that you should uh, adopt here, uh, Tauruses. Then is the lesson that you need to learn that is going to be the full card, followed by the uh, by the energies which are going to support you. This is going to be the Chariot card. These five cards. So um, what do we have here? Is a pretty I can't say really intense. Uh, cycle of a couple of weeks for you Tauruses but the very least is going to be a cycle of uh, big revelations and a lot of turnarounds because we do have the seven of swords and as a topic of uh, the lunar cycle it does not rather mean that you are going to be cheated it doesn't mean that you will uh, fall a victim of a, um, a fallacies here but rather means that uh, you are going to realize or you are going to understand that if you don't stop step up uh, step out for yourself no one else rather will so what happens here is rather that you're going to provoke other people you're going to provoke situations and you're going to storm them in any way in a sense of that let's say that you have done a job or a, a, about a client of yours let's say that you have done a favor into someone and right now that client of yours is kind of delaying your money or that friend of yours is not kind of giving you the necessary um 
uh, what was the word here, you know, uh, the necessary gratitude regarding your uh, favor that you have done for them. And, and this lunar cycle, that will be the the, the cake here. I mean, the, these guys are going to take the, the cake. And that's why you will kind of like uh, storm the situation. You will demand the gratitude. You will demand your money in any way possible. This card here represents the this lunar cycle, you Tauruses. For either of your undertakings and situations, you are going to step for once, right? For your personal right. And if that reg and if that particular state demands a war, well, war is what they are going to have. Now, the Ten of Cups in the challenges to be taken, it does represent that you will be not very um, comfortable about taking such a drastic measure. But uh, the Ace of Pentacles, as an intentional wise, does represent that you have to establish a certain ground, you have to create for yourself certain prerequisites, and on top of that, you have to consolidate, you know, um, the fields that gives you a certain benefit. And if <clears throat> And if these benefits has to come from the job that you have done, but these people aren't paying you uh, and they are delaying the payment, excuse me, then obviously you have to take certain actions to uh, kind of obtain your payment, to, to obtain your rewards. So uh, this is uh, this is the um, kind of like the direction that this lunar cycle is going to pay off for you. And if we're talking about relationships here, it is very likely that the relationship is going to uh, strengthen its bond. So it's going to be quenched here during this, uh, during this lunar cycle. But that will happen through confrontation. So it's kind of like you confront your partner. So uh, your partner realize that there are, there are, they have not much of a room, you know, to play the mean girl or the mean boy into the relationship, but rather they have to be succumbed to the certain code of conduit here if they want to be with you. So it's kind of like you are going to make a, a strict note into your relationship that the bullshits and the shenanigans has to stop. And if they are going to be serious, well, then great. If they aren't, well, that's great again, because right now you can focus on more positive things. Full card as a, um, a lesson that you have to learn, Taurus, is represents the everything new that comes in your way. Now, the full card shows that you have to take the things much more easily here and uh, much more on the playful, on the positive side, rather than on the very strict... Uh, obligated and as well serious side aside of the matter although you have to step for your uh, personal rights here that should not drive you in a in a frantic state where you have to you know punish whoever deserves that at all cost because the cost at the end may be more than you actually know and the chariot card at the end as the uh, energies which are going to support you for the duration of that lunar cycle well simply it does says only one thing that you will be capable to push through whatever you are taking as an undertaking so i hope that whatever goals you have placed in front of yourself for the next couple of weeks here starting from 26th of august are really big goals because these energies are truly going to help you at least um, build up a, a very um, big foundation. And it's not even a foundation, but really reaching a, a milestone from which you are rather not going to be brought down. And therefore, you know, eventually those aims are going to be successful aims. All right, so... Hello everyone who, who recently joined. Uh, by the way, at the end of the stream, again, I'll answer to I have several questions from the audience. So if you do want your free reading from me, this is the way you get it. You know, you basically stay till the end of the stream or you catch me there by a chance and ask your question. Oh, and one more announcement. You know that I am running a um, end of the summer sale, should I say it that way. So every 30 minutes purchased automatically adds a, a 10 minutes in addition. So basically for 30 minutes, you get a, a 40 minutes reading. <clears throat> and what the, good, what the good thing about it is that you can basically, you know, use it separately what i mean is that you can use now 20 minutes you don't have any more questions well you keep those the rest of the 20 minutes for another time when you do have questions so you know what i mean is that 
your time won't be burned if uh, the reading ends in 15 or 20 minutes. Alright, so next one that will be Gemini. So Gemini's at the topic of this lunar cycle for you is going to be the Five of Cups, followed by the challenges that you have to overcome here. This is going to be the uh, Eight of Swords. Then we do have Chariot card as intention wise, uh, followed by the lesson that you need to learn here. This is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. And the last one, we do have the King of Swords as an energies which are going to ups, support you. So what, ha what we have for you, Gemini's, is certain barriers that you have to overcome here now. Uh, this is described very well by the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords that we do have following by one another. And especially as one is uh, into the negative position. Uh, especially when we do have the Eight of Swords into a negative position, it does mean that it will be very hard for you to get through to people, uh, with people, excuse me, your family, friends, um, uh, relationship partners, colleagues, uh, bosses, supervisors, etc., etc. <clears throat> and uh, when we talk about the Five of Cups as a topic of the week, you will really not gonna like that particular state, because what will baffle you here is how people cannot see the sense behind your words. So it's all about mentality that you have to incorporate for the duration of this lunar cycle. When we talk about the Five of Cups and, and its uh, positive kind of properties, if I may say it that way, is that uh, things are, how can I place it? Things can be approached from a different angle here with your co-workers, you know, with your friends and family, etc, etc. So for the duration of this lunar cycle, it is what you are going to see, that different angle that you can explain yourself, you can elaborate upon your uh, aims and goals, you know, and you can really unfold the plan that you do have for the project you want to pursue or the relationship that you want to establish with a certain person. The chariot card here points that there is a, a way uh, through, but you have to be iron willed and you have to be very persistent and consistent and as well tenacious. So it's kind of like very bruisey attitude that uh, you will rather, you know, I don't want to say the word, you know, but you would rather die, but not to be able to explain yourself or not to make your point of view in front of those people, societies, our corporations, you know etc etc so um we got a, a really a, a point of um of stagnation regarding communications with other people and that has nothing to do with the mercury retrograde here uh, it, it does have uh, as pauline says that the mercury is now moving uh, forward. Uh, it has to do more about the differences in one's agendas and ideas when we do have the, the Eight of Swords. Uh, because the Eight of Swords is one of the cards where one places themselves into a negative positions, position, not without their personal contribution. So probably your plans from the past have a little bit more sophisticated or they have been promising much more than you can actually show at this very moment. And that's why it's happening. That you are finding it very hard to convince the people around you in your righteousness. Now, that's the point. But you can, if you, as I said, approach the situation from a little bit of a different angle here. Eight of Pentacles as a... Uh, <clears throat> as a lesson that you need to learn, can speak for a couple of things now. It could speak that you are ready to step out uh, in the world, you know, so you can show your capabilities. And that being said, you have to be um, thick-skinned, if I may express myself that way, not minding what people's opinion is about your stepping out. And shyness is something that has to be put on the shelf for the duration of this uh, of this lunar cycle is basically when you do have an opportunity to show your capabilities and skill skills it is exactly what you have to do despite of what people think and what people are laughing at 
And uh, then we do have the other interpretation of the of the Eight of Pentacles, which is where you have to experiment, just like the blacksmith is preparing a metal for a sword, uh, for a swordsmith, you know, uh, for example, and uh, not for example, but what they do is they're putting the metal into fire and water, so they are putting extreme stress upon the material, and it is exactly what you need to do. You have to bring uh, your actions to the extreme with a certain project or with a certain relationship etc etc and the energies which are going to support you here king of swords it is a about a, an accurate diagnosis upon the situation that you do have and, and an information that you will require will always come to your means so basically there will be nothing to cut you off surprise for the for the duration of this lunar cycle as an information and as a hidden agendas from other people <clears throat> Uh, therefore, uh, you will have everything at your, uh, at your behalf to prepare yourself for what is coming. It is just, you know, if people doesn't see your point of view from the very first uh, try you try to elaborate, well, try from a different angle, as I said, and it will, um, it will pay off itself. Yeah, and now we are at Cancer. Let me shuffle. By the way, guys, one second. I have an announce another announcement to make. Um, let me find it. Let me just find it. my god really can't find it oh yeah i want to thank you to jane canwe for her donation i will not say for how much uh, money is the donation i think that is a personal personal thing but yeah i, I want to thank you so much about that and um I didn't really thought oh, we're gonna I am gonna reach that particular point where people will ask me how they can truly donate to support you know what I'm doing and it was impossible uh, a six months ago because of the location that I'm living in you know there is some uh, I don't know you know bank agreements which are not allowing that but now since PayPal does have a PayPal me link that becomes completely capable so i believe that my theme are going to place that link here in this um uh in this in this post and whoever feels that they want to support me you know they can feel free to do so by using uh that link and now going to cancer one second all right so cancers uh, this uh, your topic here is marked by the eight of wands, followed by the wheel of fortune as a, a challenges that you have to overcome. Then we do have the five of cups as an intentions that you have to adopt. King of Pentacles is the lesson that you need to learn here, and at the end we do have the supportive energies that you'll be have that will be the devil card. Hello, Anne. How are you doing? Uh, so, <clears throat> I don't have much to say about you, Cancers. It is just this uh, lunar cycle is going to be fantastic for you. In the sense of that uh, boredom is the last thing that you're going to experience, not to mention that whatever predicaments you have at this particular moment can be and they will be resolved, you know, for the duration of these couple of weeks is because you will have that blessing let's say from the universe to have an options available now the problem with this lunar cycle here is that you cancers will be uh how can i place it involved into many things so you will have uh, that looming menace of uh, being succumbed by fatigue and the fatigue is going to be a serious issue for you uh <clears throat> as a lot of places will demand either your attention or either your presence and that could happen in many different cases for example um you know I, i'm let's say a multiple friends may want to 
schedule you know an appointment with you and at the same time your job may uh, regard may require you from working on a multiple project and in the same time you know your kids may demand your attention as well and your family may call and so on and so on so it's going to be a very busy month uh, a very busy couple of weeks here in which you um Cancer will not have much of a time to catch up your breath, but in the same time, those kind of activities are going to be quite, um, I can't say really extraordinary, but they will be rather more to the positive side of the matter where you will feel thrilled about participating into. So... <clears throat> Five of uh, uh, five of cups. It's uh, it's a card as an intentional wise. Uh, it's uh, rather to look more toward the positive side of the matter. Because you know when you when you involve yourself into a certain activity, there is always something negative that happens in there. Let's say that you um, are scheduling, you know dates with friends etc etc but those friend brings another friend which is not very appealing to you well that is kind of a negativity of the undertaking here but the five of pentacles points that you have to be rather more focused on the positive side of the matter that you will have a few moments you know with that friend of yours which asks you to go up so uh it's kind of like you have to swallow as well the both sides of the coins here but the five of cups is an intentional wise also points that this lunar cycle and that is important you have a an opportunity to close an old wounds whatever that's supposed to mean for you that could be a failure of a project that could be a failure in a relationship etc etc but you will have the uh the capability and the ability should i say that way to uh, get over it and just move, move on from there you know and uh, kind of like focus yourself into something new that it is looming in the horizon here now the uh, king of Pen uh, king of pentacles are uh, on the uh, a lesson that you need to learn it's about finalizing your current undertakings before you actually involve yourself with a newness so what we do have is, is a little bit of a in a contradictory here so from another side the the current of the events is going to present you with a lot of activity cancers and from the other side uh, what this lunar cycle is going to teach you is to first finalize your own uh, or already current activities undertakings and responsibilities before you involve yourself into something new so um yeah th there is no doubt that it's going to be very busy and uh you can choose how to approach it you know just so you know if you go um toward the active side at the start then there could be some escalating of troubles from those kind of uh, undertakings you haven't finalized yet so advisable here is to spend the first couple of days maybe to three days to at least reach a particular milestone with um with your own uh, already ongoing you know uh, agendas before you actually uh, start participating into new agendas and the devil card as a um energy which is going to support you is pointing that you can alter your outcomes which is very very important so you do have the power to create the faithful circumstances you require in order to shape the outcome of your situation a very uh, very big and tremendous energies are what, you, what are going to support you and i hope that you will be able to make the most out of them <clears throat> so after that is following Leo All right, so Leo, uh, for your lunar cycle, guys, we do have the Six of Swords, uh, followed by the Strength card with uh, the 
King of Swords as an intention that you should adopt. Two of Pentacles as a lesson that you need to learn. And then we do have the Ten of Pentacles as an energies which are going to support you here. So, um, Leo, uh, what happens for the duration of this lunar cycle is that you will be on the verge of a threshold here of forcing a certain actions in your life. Uh, these actions will be rather extreme regarding your standards. And uh, because these actions will be extreme, you may feel a certain fear of what the outcome of those actions are going to be. So what you need to incorporate here <clears throat> as the strength card dictates as a uh, challenge that you need to overcome is the patience and the confidence that you um, that you breathe in the atmosphere of those uh, si um, situations so people have no doubt that you are doing the right thing for yourself and for the situation itself so basically you will have to call the tough shots all right but that doesn't mean you know, people are going to be angry at you. Now, just on the contrary, by having the King of Swords as an intention that you need to incorporate here, it points that before you actually make the tough call, uh, you got to ask for the other's opinion as well, regard to those people which, uh, which are involved as well into that current situation and undertaking. King of Swords, uh, in that particular sense, does represent the ability to communicate and to express your points of view in a way that others can understand you. And uh, what I like uh, is a sentence in one of the uh, movies I have watching is that, uh, you know, if you can't explain your points, um, if, if your point, the way you are explaining it, cannot be understood by a kid in third grade, then you obviously are not explaining it right. So you have to explain it very simple, support it with arguments and support it with facts, right? And then people truly will uh, see where you're coming from and they will follow you. Now that's very important as well, Leo, that you are going, that you have the capability here for the, for the duration of this lunar cycle to win followers, to win supporters, either for to make a relationship, either for to win a certain project or to take the upper hand in a conflict, etc., etc. You can do so, as I said, by showing the that with your presence and with your uh, lack of explanation as well uh, of why you are doing certain things, um, you breed confidence into those people willing to follow. And the two of pentacles as well here as a lesson that you need to learn points that you have to be very agile and take advantage of every single window of a small window of opportunity you know to improve your personal circumstances so you have to be very vigilant as well about how the current is taking place you know where that current is leading you toward and what kind of a small opportunities are here and there to be utilized so you can uh, consolidate your plan moving on forward either regarding one's relationship or either regarding one's career and ten of pentacles as an energy is which are going to support you, points that those energies are going to make you more and more independent, not, not being dependable on other people's means and on other people's approval as well. Very important. As well is pointing that you will be able to, uh, how can I place it? You will be able to breed on that um, trust into, the, into these people. You will be able to build up trust into people that they have not trusted you uh, in the near, uh, in the recent past. Now, next one, that will be Virgo.
All right, so Virgos, uh, the Seven of Pentacles is the first card forming up the uh, topic of the lunar cycle for you, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome here. This is going to be the Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles. It is what um, intentions you have to adopt here. Seven of Swords is the lesson that you need to learn. And then we do have the Page of Cups, uh, which is representing the energies that are going to support you for the duration of this cycle. So, um, what happens here is that uh, you are going to be tested, or not tested, but let's say the expectations of a person that uh, you depend on, most likely your uh, boss at work, or um, if your partner in relationship is taking care entirely for you, then it is from your partner. Either way, from a person that you are depending on, those expectations are going to be lifted. And you will feel very under pressure. Will you be able to kind of uh, meet their uh, expectations and to fulfill the conditions that that person expects from you? So that person, uh, it's not unreasonable. What I mean here is that they very well know are you capable or are you not capable to do whatever they demand. Therefore, they are demanding the pure maximum from you. But that thing as well will be will repay off in a monetary success moving on forward. So it's mostly career orientated. Now, if you are jobless, as this is a mostly career orientated Virgo, uh, and you do have an interview to go on, you need to know that these people will want from you to show them the pure maximum that you're capable of and the criteria that they will have for you will be uh, I can it's not even barely met here but they will be just at the top of your performance so uh, what it is required from you here is to uh, first of all ask yourself is it really worth it uh, in a sense of that uh, these benefits that you are going to get from such of an involvement, for, for, uh, from such of a, a contribution of your behalf, is it really worth it to, uh, to have them? I mean, can, can you spend them, first of all? Because uh, definitely, I'm talking about from a human perspective right now, not from a tarot reader, that, yeah, I mean, when you, uh, when you perform very well at work and when you are working constantly 24-7, you know, and you are constantly worrying about uh, your project and you are flowering, flawless executing them this is putting a lot of uh, a lot of stress and pressure upon oneself and that kind of leads to uh, depression it leads to um, other kind of sicknesses and illness so one way or another we gain one thing but would, but but we are paying off with other personal time, you know, personal relationships, uh, uh, health as well, if you want to say it that way. So that's why this Seven of Pentacles comes here uh, as a topic of the week, pointing you that you should not feel yourself obliged to meet those criteria. I mean, you cannot, you can't get away with less. Of course, the benefits are going to be less. But in the same time, you will benefit in a different field than the field that this person that you are depending on from that person. And it is exactly what the seven of swords it is dictating here as a lesson that you need to learn for yourself. You have to think for yourself foremost and above everything else. That is the meaning of the seven of swords here. Kind of selfish, but necessary so one can sustain their health, one can, su can sustain their uh, positive attitude toward the future, one can, su can sustain, uh, you know, their, um, how can I place it, their a sense of self-righteousness, if you want to say it that way as well. Page of Pentacles here points that you have to be, uh, whatever you start doing for the duration of this lunar cycle, and even moving on forward after that, it does represent a, um, a consistency here, and that you should not push it uh, very swiftly and very hardly. Now, this card points to, to that you need to first think it three times, before you actually make a step moving on forward, because the step has to be uh, rock solid, all right? It has to be thoroughly taught and reconnoitered regarding the environment that this undertaking takes place. 
Page of Cups here, Virgos, as an energy switch are going to support you. Points that you will be very accurate with uh, analyzing the, uh, the positions you are taking in a certain situation. So, for example, uh, you are getting in invited into a new society. You will immediately know how you fit in the grand scheme of things for that society. You are involved into a new project in, that, in your job and career. You will immediately know how much is expected from you and uh, as well, you know, how you fit in the grand scheme of that project. So, very, very important card here. And especially for relationships, someone approaches you here and seems uh, a person of interest you will immediately know how far you can get with that person for the duration of these couple of weeks of course well Terry actually it's quite easy not to stress it is just you should not worry for the things that you cannot do anything about right now that is the formula of not being stressed and also uh, another formula about not being stressed or at least my formula formula is about uh, I keep my expectations low, I don't presume anything, and I'm always ready for the worst case scenario. That way, I am never disappointed, therefore, I don't feel stress upon me. Alright, so uh, now we go to Libra. Uh, Libra is the first card for you. This is going to be the Seven of Cups, followed by the negative. Uh, this is the uh, topic of your lunar cycle, followed by the Hermit card here. Uh, then we do have Three of Swords as the intentions that you should overcome. Uh, then is the Page of Wands as a, a lesson that you need to learn. And we do have the Queen of Swords uh, energies which are going to support you. Uh, Libra. That is Libra, yeah. So, um, yeah, what we do have here is a typical example of that lunar cycle, Libra, is that you are going to realize that you are moving into rather wrong direction regarding a certain field of your life. Uh, either career, the cards doesn't really express, uh, says wha what that direction is going to be, you know. Either career or either relationship here. What we do have is that you are going to realize that your, uh, your aims or your expectations are rather celluloid and they cannot be reached for the time frame you have given to yourself. I mean, Let's give a, an example here as a relationship, as a person of interest. Let's say that you do have a person of interest. This lunar cycle, and this is exactly, and in this field is where these cards, that reading takes place. So these cards are pointing that you're going to realize that with this person of interest, things aren't, aren't going to work out. Not at least for in the near future. In a couple of years, maybe, yes. But are you willing to wait a couple of years? That's the question here. Same goes for your career. Uh, what I'm trying to say here, uh, Libras, is that you have to be rather more objective about what your limitations and what your capabilities are for the duration of this lunar cycle. Or this is this lunar cycle it is where you have to place them into the right spot. You have to ground yourself regarding what can be achieved and what can be reached with your current means. Uh, that's why we do have the uh, Hermit here into a negative position now, pointing that you're not going to... Um, you're not going to be very happy of what you're going to find when you dig down profoundly into your situation. You're going to understand that this is not something you want to pursue. Of course, because we do have the Tree of Swords into rather positive intentional-wise position, that card points that you can and should cut your losses until it's way too late and just, you know, diverse into a more uh, accurate objective, should I say that way. So, uh, yeah, this is a, a pre-orientation for you, Libras, for a, a new path in, uh, not in life, but for a, a new path in a field of your life regarding either career or regarding either relationship. And that is very well this, the, expressed here in the page of uh, wants representing the lesson that you need to learn. And the lesson is that you always have to be open for whatever new it is out there in the world. And you always have to... 
uh, when something isn't working out, you know, you need to kind of adopt a, a new idea of newness that has to be exerted and incorporated in your life. Not to mention that the page here as a lesson also serves as you are much stronger on your own. So basically this lunar cycle, you have to spend it on your own as well. If you follow the advice and the lesson of the page of wands, energies which are going to support you here, queen of swords, very strong woman, and uh, as a card of a, a very strong woman, very strong feminine energy, a, an energy of feminine which will allow you to endure whatever it is thrown in your way. There won't be people capable to brought you to bring you down. Not to mention that you will. It is likely that you are going to reach to a, a very vital information which are going to give you a certain edge upon things. And um, this. Uh, this energy also depraves the situation to uh, repeat itself in a poignant way, which means that you will be uh, rather victorious if you try something anew. All right, so uh, that was Libra. Now going to Scorpio fellows uh, here. All right, Scorpio's Queen of Wands is the first card marking up the topic of your uh, lunar cycle. Then we do have the Strength card representing the difficulties that you have to overcome here. Hermit card is intentions that you need to adopt for the duration of the lunar cycle. <laughs> oh my God, my, my manager is going to love this. It's simply, yeah. Anyway, so uh, Knight of Cups, lesson that you need to learn, guys. And the Knight of Pentacles as an energy which are going to support you. Oh yeah, my manager, my manager, if my manager is watching right now, is going to love this. Because we today had a, a particular conversation regarding this topic. And what these cards are telling about us Scorpios is that we have to work. I will have to work very hard. Now that points here into the Queen of Wands, followed by the Strength card into a negative position. Does represent that we may be a little bit more prone to laziness for the next uh, couple of weeks in duration. But the Queen of Wands points that we have an exceptional window of making ourselves relevant into our career field or into our relationship environment as well. Uh, if it is about relationship environment, that card points that we are going to be found very attractive from, at the, from the cycle, from the circle of people which we are interested in, you know, from the type of people which we are interested in. Therefore, it will be advisable for you, Scorpios, if you are seeking for a, a companion in life, to start going out and dating people. Now, if you don't have that, uh, that option available currently, dating websites are also an option available as well. This is an alternative way to get to know with somebody. That doesn't mean that you have to go out on a date with them on the first couple of days, you know, but at least, you know, start engaging with people. That is very important. And when we talk about career paths here, the Queen of Wands points that you have to roll up your sleeves, guys, and just start working and start working hard because that card points that you will have an exceptional acute sense of business, which means that whatever you do will be faced very positively from your audience, from your boss, from um, your clients as well, etc., etc. So now is the time where you should not slack whatsoever. And the Hermit card, intentional-wise, points that you re you really need to push into uh, 
that direction which truly lacks your attention, all right, which truly has been uh, neglected until this very moment. So is your career neglected or is your relationship neglect neglected or is our, are they both neglected? That's the question you need to ask yourself, Scorpios. And uh, the, the Knights of Cups here has a, a couple of lessons for you guys. First of all, the, the, the Knights of Cups has a lesson that if you help yourself, the universe is going to help you as well, in the sense of that your hard work will always be repaid off one way or another. And uh, the next lesson here from the Knight of Cups is that you need to follow the dreams of your heart. It is very simple. Now, do what makes you happy, but do not slug, guys. Do not be lazy. Very important. Now, when we talk about the Knight of Cups, it is also a, uh, a period of time where you should be, you should try at least. I know for myself that is very hard, but you should, uh, you should try at least, Scorpius, to show some emotional connection with someone and try to share some emotions with them, especially if you are searching for a companion in life. And the Knight of Pentacles is an energy which are going to support you. Fantastic one. Points things for you are going to be very simple. There won't be any sophistications and complications into your situations. And whatever actions you do, they will be faced very positively from the people because you will, first of all, exert confidence. And second of all, you are going to show determinations behind your actions. So that was Scorpio here. And now shuffling and going to Sagittarius. Yeah, I, was, I always start with Aries and, and with Pisces. That way there is a predict predictability into my streams. And as well, no matter what I, uh, which, time, which star sign I start with and which star sign I end up with, there will be always, you know, people who are not agreed with it. You know, I cannot start with, it, with all of the star signs at the same time. So for that reason, I have chosen to just go with the star order of the star signs. That way, at least... People who are uh, regularly uh, regularly uh, following my stream, they can, you know, when they when they tap in, they know that I take roughly seven minutes for a star sign. So they see, oh, he's a Leo and I'm Scorpio. Then in in fifteen minutes, I can come in and watch my star sign, you know. So that was for Scorpio. Now going to Sagittarius, and one second. So Sagittarius, is, uh, the Hermit card is the first one uh, that um, shows the topic of your lunar cycle, followed by the Knight of Cups here, which represents the challenges that you have to overcome. Then we do have the Knight of Pentacles. These are uh, two of the last three cards from the previous reading, but here they do have a totally different meaning. Uh, then is the Tree of Swords as a lesson that you need to learn, Sagittarius. Is. And at the end, we do have the Page of Wands, which represents uh, the energies supporting you. Alright, so uh, this is going to be a very, very important cycle at your behalf here. Not necessarily a cycle that you are going to really uh, find appealing, but that doesn't mean that you won't uh, enjoy it in any way. It is just, it will be very, uh, why we do have the Knights of Cups here is the very uh, reason that you are going to find it difficult to believe that what you are going to be involved in as an undertaking here or what you are going to start doing will have significant impact for your growth in the future. So what you're going to do for that duration of this lunar cycle will seem very meaningless for you. It will seem like a distraction, like a chore, like a burden, etc., etc., without you realizing that it is actually something big and it will help you when the time comes. So you are building up a, a ticking bomb here, a bomb which most likely is going to eradicate your problems when you um, 
face them in the future all right so you have to give the best you ca you 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 have or yeah you should give the best you have uh, for the every kind of undertaking that you will start doing in these couple of weeks because that will be uh, a, a prerequisite for you to have a, a much easier time in the law in the distant future uh, after a, a couple of months for example or maybe after in a year in advance as well but it is very important here as we do have the knight of pentacles to be consistent first and second of all to uh, be unyielding regarding the means needed and regarding the 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 plan that you will follow for those undertakings so uh, that means that you should not diverse in any kind of um, in any kind of case uh, no matter how the situation is presented no matter what other people tells you then we do have three of sorts here as a lesson that you need to learn when it comes as a lesson this card is about healing it is about emotional healing through mental standpoints very important through mental standpoints means that you are feeling bad regarding uh, a certain circumstances in your life it is because you're thinking about them now, if you stop thinking about them and you, if you focus on a more positive events that are yet to come in your future or that you are indulging yourself currently with, you know, uh, you are going to find out that you feel no despondency any longer. And I will give you a particular example with that. Let's say that you had a recent breakup, you know, but you also start dating a certain person recently as well. So what this card advises you is to stop thinking about the breakup, but focus on the person that you are dating. And that is easier said than done because it is a normal, it is a natural thing, you know, when you start dating someone to compare it with the previous one. You know, that, that is totally natural. And it is exactly what the Tree of Swords advises against. You know, you have to look at these people as a completely separate, separate individual as well, um, kind of accepting that what was in the past should stay in the past what i like to say in these cases is that yesterday is yesterday and if you try to recapture it obviously you're gonna lose tomorrow page of wands here as an energies which are going to support your sagittarius points that there will be a lot of newness coming in your life in a sense of you know new information new enterprises new people involved in probably new projects as well this is the card of newness but newness into your already ongoing undertakings this is not the brand new beginning all right so you should not expect that things are gonna start happening out of the blue now it is important to know that you have already placed the uh, prerequisites for these things to happen for these newness to emerge should i say that way uh, so you can you can accept that as a benefits of your labor of your recent labor that you have placed all right so uh that was sagittarius now moving to capricorn Judgment card. We start explosively here with you, Capricorns. Judgment card follows as a topic of your week of your uh, lunar cycle, followed by the page of pentacles as a uh, um, challenges to be tackled. Ju justice. It is the uh, intentions that you need to adopt here. Then we do have the lesson you need to learn. That will be the two of cups. And then we do have six of uh, pentacles as a energies which are going to support you. So, well, Capricorns, uh, this, uh, th this lunar cycle, it is where you are going to obtain a new way of thinking. Or rather, you are going to look at your uh, 
situations in a, a very new perspective, in a very new angle, an angle which most likely is going to unlock very doors for you, how uh, uh, much of a doors for you, is going to abate the stress and the tension that you are feeling from the oppression of the daily routine as well. So it's going to be a very broad lunar cycle for you, affecting every single field of your life, but affecting it in a, such a way that you will be able to regain back control upon it. So the judgment card here points that it is likely that you are, will be able to, you know, from those kind of, uh, um, wait a second, I need to think it thoroughly here before I express myself because I, I can say something stupid here. So it's kind of like, you know, <clears throat> those kind of moments which you feel like things are going awkward which you feel that things are going uh you know kind of out of the ordinary and they are not developing uh in a natural way well this is what happens here in this lunar cycle for you capricorns every single field which is developing unnaturally for you will get back into the natural state of its development and that will happen uh um thanks to the understanding from your behalf that you need to look at it from a different perspective and change a little bit your strategy regarding the undertaking which is going on here, either relationship-wise or either career-wise. Now, as we do have the Page of Pentacles into a challenging position, uh, that kind of abstracts a little bit, you know, to uh, start anew but rather you have to work with whatever you got at this particular moment. Now, this card also asks you to be more um, hasty, you know, with your performance. At a certain, at a certain undertakings in, uh, in your environment, I mean, you have quite of a, a late, but it is not way too late uh, if you are willing to give it a double time here, all right? So you need to kind of speed up your performance a little bit here. And with the the, um, the Justice card into intentional wise, as soon as you recognize that you have to change your standpoint regarding these things, regarding your partners in business, you know, regarding your partner in life, regarding your friends, etc., etc., the sooner the improvement will start. Now, being stubborn, it's exactly what you should avoid here, guys, because obviously things aren't working out because you are kind of approaching them from a from the wrong angle here. No, not that your aims or agendas are something wrong, but it is just they are not executed correctly. I'm sorry, I'm saying that it is it is just this is what the card says. This is what I'm saying to you. And uh, then we do have the Two of uh, Cups as a lesson that you need to learn. And these cards are pointing that it will be very beneficial for you if you bring some connections and some friends into the matter. You know, you don't have to face everything on your own. You don't have to suffer on your own. As a matter of fact, that card points that shared happiness is doubled happiness. Shared pain is half the pain. So try to share your experience, try to share your activities with those people which are there to you, those people which are truly trying to help you because there are such having that card here in this position. Six of Pentacles as an energies which are going to support you here points that um, those kind of enterprises or those kind of undertakings you have to attend to which see which were seemingly uh, annoying until this very moment will be recognized as something necessary to be pushed through therefore you will no longer feel annoyment of dealing or fear if you want to say that way confronting those undertakings and you will be able to therefore to resolve a an issues thus far postponed because you didn't have the either the guts or the right conditions to do so so that was uh the capricorns now going to aquarius
Oh my god, the team I totally despise is now playing. They are just starting though. <clears throat> so after the stream is finished, I can watch my games. I hope they, they get beaten so bad. Alright, so Aquarius says, wow, alright, so the world card, it is what we start with, uh, which you're reading, uh, this is the topic of your lunar cycle, followed by the challenges you have to overcome here, and that will be uh, the Tree of Swords, uh, followed by the intentions you have to adopt here, this is going to be the Hermit card. Six of Cups represents the uh, lesson that you need to learn, and the Six of Swords, it does represent uh, the um, energies which are going to support you. So, uh, usually I don't go with, um, with numerology here, but what makes my intention, uh, or what attracts my attention here, is that we do have double sixes. And these double sixes are um, exclusively for your ethereal or spiritual cycle. So one need, needs to uh, reach a state of resignation regarding their spiritual evaluation, which means that you have to be totally humble and in peace with uh, what your uh, how what is the state of your spirit as this very at this very moment and this is why we do have the world card here guys as a uh, as a uh, topic of your lunar cycle you need to reach a certain closure with a poignant experiences from the past represented by the tree of swords into a negative position so obviously these cards are pointing that recently you didn't have very good and pleasant experience either regarding relationship either regarding the uh, career and what these cards are pointing it is that most likely you have to prevent what happens but it is in the past now so what you need to do here is reach a completion and that could happen by you confronting the person that you have a new feelings for confronting the um you know the the project that you could not execute the way you wanted etc etc this is kind of like a a kind of a, a payback that you need to give toward that particular situation so you can again feel resigned of how the current is going on at your behalf and incorporate the hermit card here which is finding the perspective that most matters for you until you don't reach that completion by for example confronting your ex-boyfriend or a girlfriend for what they did to you you know or confronting your partner in career for what they did to the project you know etc etc or confronting your ongoing current boyfriend or a girlfriend for what they are doing to you as well you know at this very moment you will not be able to uh, at least according to this card, you will not be able to find joy and satisfaction from the undertakings which are awaiting for you in the near future. And by looking at these cards or queries, I can tell you that these undertakings will be very, very pleasant. That is displayed by the Six of Cups showing that as soon as you are able to reach that personal liberation from, uh, from the... Uh, poignant experiences you had in the recent past guys near future will be dappled with satisfaction enjoyment especially if you are a person of creativity and a person of the art like a painter writer um, musician etc etc and even if you are not even if you are just you know a, a common worker here working in a company in an office you know construction sites etc etc you will be able to feel much more joy from what you're doing because you will have your closure with the poignant past looking much more positive to the extremely positive future which is awaiting to you because the energies here with the six of swords are promising you a, a transition that will kind of reveal for you new fields of conquests all right so it is very important here aquarius just to drop off that heavy burden of uh 
regret. It is the regret that I was searching for, all right? A heavy burden of regret that you could have done something, but it is not that you didn't, it is just maybe you didn't do it the way it had to be done. Anyway, or you have been obstructed, or you have been betrayed, you know, it could, it could be many reasons behind it, guys. It doesn't have to be that you kind of did it the wrong thing here, all right, in the past. But you have to kind of reach your... Uh, closure here and when you do so you will feel that the world is your the world is brought down in your knees I you can achieve basically anything that you that you desire moving on forward so yeah the, the, this should be your aim here Aquarius for the duration of this lunar cycle and finally last but not least we go to Pisces, which the full moon, full moon takes place at. Now, a funny fact uh, is that moon in Pisces is represented by the uh, <clears throat> by the high priestess conjuncting the moon card, and the moon card does not represent. Uh, the moon in astrologically it represents Pisces. The moon is represented by the high priestess in Tarot. So uh, according at least to Tarot, this will be a moment of a, a huge revelations, at least according to Tarot. And it is likely that some people were going to realize their true emotions. So don't be shocked if you realize that you don't love somebody any longer or somebody doesn't love you any more than, uh, longer. And I'm not talking about Pisces in general. I'm talking um, in general for every person in this entire world or you may find out that you don't like to do a certain thing any longer uh, i recently talked with a friend who does not experience any more joy by talking with a a long-term friendship uh friends you know friends that my friend had for uh, like a tens of years you know and my friend no longer experienced joy and satisfaction um by communicating with these people it is what my friend experienced as according to my friend's words are boredom all right so yeah you can have those kind of shifts in emotional states during this uh during this lunar cycle all of you and uh, this is according to the tarot energy all right and uh what the ultimate goals of those emotional shifts is going to be one to find um you know the insight regarding you know the it's very difficult because the moon card is one of those cards pointing that if you can bind your imagination and your creativity it is likely that you are going to uh, have that huge insight upon emotional uh, upon upon the emotional um, direction here and that's why you may realize that your emotional direction at this very moment it is not the one that you're following you know you may feel the need to do something different to do something else to do something exciting and maybe the person you are you are with does not present you with that prerequisite to do so maybe the job that you're working does not give you the opportunity to do so you know or maybe the place you're living in does not give you as well the 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 choice to do it all right so you may expect those kind of emotional shifts uh in this in this lunar cycle here and now going to pisces uh we have the page of swords is the first card marking up the topic for your lunar cycle pisces followed by the knight of uh the knights of wands which uh, <clears throat> represents the challenges to be taken Star card represents the um, attitude you have to adopt, followed by the Queen of Cups, which is the lesson you need to learn here. And at the end, we do have the Nine of Wands, which represents the uh, energies supporting you for the duration of this lunar cycle, just like that. All right, so Pisces, Pisces, what we do have here, guys, is that you have to be very, I don't know the, well, I know the English word, but I don't know if it is used 
uh, in this particular sense, but you have to be rather tame regarding the activities you will be involved in in this cycle. Why? Because it will be imperative for you to wait the right timing. This is displayed in the Queen of Cups lesson you need to learn. Careful planning and very uh, patient waiting, if I may say it that way, for your moment to come around. And you will foresee that you need your moment or rather that you need something to be different here with your ongoing either relationship or career uh, displayed by the page of swords because your thoughts or your thinking will start shift and will become more and more independable in this um, in this lunar cycle which will give you the prerequisite to uh, reach new ideas which will make you kind of foresee the situation from a different angle, from the prism of a different perspective here. And by having the Knights of Wands into a negative position, this speaks that you will not have the means right now to uh, try it out and to see is it working or is it not working. So you will not have the opportunity to... Um, investigate and to reconnoiter is that new strategies that new ways or that new revelations on your behalf are truly what you need in order to make your life much more interesting because it's all about that having your life much more interesting and what the star card represents here as an intentions is just one thing hanging in there because you know this what you kind of like shape in your mind right now as an idea goal undertaking etc has its long-term potential and it will unfold but in a long term you don't have to push it in the next couple of days or in the next couple of weeks for that matter but you need to be rather more patient calculative and as well if it needed if it needs to surreptitious so you can prepare it uh behind the scene so no one can um foresee what you are doing therefore those kind of people with ill emotions towards you cannot cause predicaments to your activity to your current relationship to your future relationship if you want to say it that way you know to your current or future career projects as well so it is very important here to lay lower than the grass but that should not kind of obstruct you to work in your personal benefits and in your personal means so this is literally what that reading here says for you, Pisces, that this lunar cycle, you have to be more slinky, you have to be more secretive about your deeds and about your actions as well, so you face less competition when the true execution of those, uh, of those plans and actions uh, comes to uh, bear. And uh, the last card here, Nine of Wands, shows as an energy supporting you shows that you will be able actually to incorporate the changes needed these small conscious changes in your routine you know in the way that you are doing things uh, or in the way that you tackle with problems etc 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 which is a mandatory for your future progress all right so it's kind of like you will be able to Change your aims, goals, and performance without people realizing it and without people seeing what you are truly aiming for yourself, for your husband, for your kids, you know, for your career in general. So that's why you have to be, as I said, a little bit more slinky and uh, slinky and, and surreptitious in the next couple of weeks so you can lay down the foundation before, um, in, without facing any kind of opposition whatsoever from the rivals that you do have because every single one of us has its own rivals and now as this is done with Pisces let's go to the uh, free readings guys you can ask your questions right now in this very moment I will pick up uh, several questions to answer by drawing one tarot card per question and you are up to it go on
All right, so we do have quite a, a few. All right, and um, Amy Conning um, is asking a guidance for her regarding the week. Now, uh, we do have a Tree of Pentacles. I don't know in which kind of a field that card is going to uh, manifest itself, Amy, either a relationship or a career, but that card points that you need to aim for a cooperation and as well receive a, a critics as a constructive feedback so you can learn from them and simply become better. The card asks you to be uh, more elaborative with your words with your explanations and in general with with your communication with people so people can really see where you're coming from and can support you through your development now let's see um someone else mm. So someone would have loved a reading and just to give you a, a demo version of your reading here we do have the hangman for you summer so um, this is a general card for your near future and you have to be ready for your for some delays setbacks and um, challenges in the sense of you know that you will be uh, challenged to change your strategy to change your plan and in general to change your perspective regarding things now if you are feeling yourself stuck that that is uh, because the time hasn't come yet now only thing that you need to do right now is exactly nothing but just wait for the best possible uh for the best possible timing which is going to be revealed to you on its own accord so don't it what my point here is is that you should not be frantic about the futile efforts that you are giving but just stop giving any efforts whatsoever all right so Maria Fage Knutson. I, I don't know if I am pronouncing this one correctly here. Uh, but for you, Maria, we do have the King of Wands as a card. So that, I will not read it as a person here because this is just a general card and it does point that you have to be rather lift your expectations a little bit and performance a little bit higher. Uh, this card points that you do have a, an unexplored potential of your behalf which can be explored and which can bring you much more benefits. Very important when we do have the King of Wands here is to present yourself strong and don't whine around. What I mean is that instead of, you know, complaining, you have to put the toils behind it. This is when people will recognize you as a natural born leader and people will follow you in case you are aiming for a promotion in your job or you are aiming to catch up a big fish into your relationship life. Okay, Deborah Thane, uh, a general sounds better for me now. We do have, one second, is that a follow-up of a question? Okay, so no, this is the question. General cut for Deborah Thane. And this is going to be the Eight of Cups for you, Deborah. So you need something, um, some changes to make in your life and into your career. Now, this card represents a, a stoic situation. You know, a situation which isn't developing very pleasantly, should I say, but as well, as soon as you recognize that this situation no longer can be pushed through and you rather focus yourself onto a new perspectives here, things are going to get rather better for you. And these new perspectives sh should not be a new job or new relationship, but rather new enterprises into your ongoing current jobs or relationship kind of like try some new activities with your partner try um, a new project at your career or try to be friends with new people into your career etc um, etc et now the, the the eight of cups is the card pointing that you know you can you are seeing only the one side of the coin here and from the other side of the coin there there are still many many Positivity is waiting for you to be reaped. Uh, and uh, let's see 
what we do have for more questions here Barbara anything that you can tell me in general thank you now we do have for you Barbara the eight of wands this card uh, asks you to be much more how can I place it and an opportunist okay uh, maybe you are not seeing uh, much benefits of the um, of the openings around you, but uh, when we talk about the Eight of Wands, this card represents taking on a creative approach toward the matter, approach that uh, very little people expect. So this is what you need to um, what you need to show here. Uh, Deborah, it is uh, the um, the capability to surprise or the element of surprise. This is what you need to take on. Now, should you face any difficulties at this very moment regarding your relationship or regarding your career, uh, you have to be uh, rather more uh, prone to confront the problem and the conflict than to bypass it. Because the opening is at this very moment to to confront it deborah now you uh it is rather you will not have a better opportunity in the next couple of months most likely looking at this card to um submit your opposition and to bring it down in your lead in your knees now jessica the life purpose is for you to find that's why it's called life purpose you know so you can find it for yourself otherwise what is the point of leading your life if i tell you your your life purpose there is no point in it is it <clears throat> thank you guile thank you um And one one last question I will answer. And as you can see, guys, I'm avoiding questions which are simply can be answered for yes or no. Because in these free readings, I do things my way. And as it is my way, I don't take a, a free will of someone to make a choice. But when you answer something with yes and no, it is obviously you do that thing. You are taking a, you are taking choice for someone else without taking the consequences of that choice. So um, if you pay your reading, then you can do whatever you like to with that time. I mean, you can ask any kind of questions. And even though these questions goes against my code of conduit and my system of belief, I will answer to them as you have paid for such an answer. But uh, as far as it goes with the free reading, I go with my code of conduit and I will not answer two questions which are meant to make a decision for you. So our last one will be Tiffany here, Tiffany Walker, it is a, about what do you see coming for me? Now, we do have the Six of Cups for you, Tiffany, and that will be an undertaking, creating a, a great pleasure at your behalf. You will really enjoy what you are going to do, either into your relationship or either into your career. However, in order to experience that immense pleasure at your behalf, you have to be grateful for the small things in life. So if you are expect the higher your expectations, from this undertakings are the less joy you will experience the most joy experiencing in this um, kind of like you know dictated by this card six of pentacles six of cups excuse me is when you don't have expectations and at all but you just go by with uh, the benefits that are coming every single way with you being grateful for everything that it is given to you um, in uh in a payoff of your performance so uh this is what i'm seeing for you tiffany and i hope that you guys enjoyed and like this uh live stream and this uh tarot reading for all 12 star signs regarding the full moon into pisces here um and i hope that you have enjoyed the uh free readings as well now um in case you want um a free reading again just stay in tune for my next life and this time you know systemize your question a little bit better so it is not meant to take a a, a decision for you and 
in case you know you want a personal reading with me uh, you can check out my website written here in the post which is www.tarotpredictions.net and you can choose the service from there um, <clears throat> again the 30 minute service has an extended duration of a 40 minutes should you purchase a 30 minute service uh, a 30 minute reading and again uh, if you feel that what I am doing is great you know and you want to support the channel now through donation you will find the link as well at the uh, at the topic or the post excuse me of uh, of this topic and again thank you all for watching uh, it was really a pleasure for me to give you those uh, predictions it was an honor for me that you are my audience and thank you so much for your recent support again at uh, my youtube channel at my facebook page you are amazing guys keep the hype up and see you around until then bye